Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heal vs. Babyface. Yesterday, I said that I could really put out more videos than I did, but YouTube, uh, well, they only allow you three notifications a day. So I did two videos and I had my real BBC stream. One of the videos that I wanted to put out was about Black Widow, and I ended up watching Yellow Flash's video on it, which, and I, I love the guy's channel, and I found it very interesting. He used some... Uh, interesting analytics. He went to a website, I uh, went to Google Trends, and uh, I just kind of watched it. I was like, good vid. Gave it a like. Always give him a like. Uh, and then moved on. So I was going to actually leave it at that and come up with something different today. And then this morning, uh, <laughs> as I was preparing to do my Loki video, I just decided to, to have a look into black widow trends and one of the things which immediately popped up was black widow trending to have a high weekend now yellow flash's video said that it's it's tracking to be not so good and i had already heard which i discussed on the real bbc last night on the stream that it isn't tracking to do particularly well so i went to the website which said that it was tracking to do well. And I decided to delve a little bit deeper. So this is going to deal with some information uh, which Yellow Flash dealt with. But I, I think it also deals with some information that he doesn't, which is a little bit interesting. So let's get into it, shall we? This is from comicbookmovie.com. And they run with the heading of Black Widow Long Range Tracking Points to a domestic opening weekend as high as 90 million. That's, as we're going to discover, not really the case. No, but let's just let's just hear what they have to say. Here's some good news for Black Widow today as the glowing social media reactions have been followed by positive early box office tracking that should see the movie beat all post-pandemic releases. <laughs> the, the word just, the releases just jumps under this image here. It's clear that the North American box office is slowly starting to rebound after last year's closures. Uh, and while there's still a long way to go, Black Widow is eyeing some very impressive opening weekend numbers next month. Interesting. According to Box Office Pro, right, and if you look up here, it says filed under Black Widow Source Box Office Pro. So let's stop right there. Now let's jump to Pirates and Princesses. This is, I think, isn't this the clownfish people that uh, did run this? And this is what Yellow Flash used in his video yesterday. And they run, and they both, by the way, both of these articles were released on the 21st of June. Black Widow, low interest forecasts a potentially poor box office haul. So this is a completely different title, a completely different uh, set of, of predictions than comicbookmovie.com. Let's read a little bit of this next. Here at Pirates and Princesses, we've been using comparative analysis of various different creative properties to determine the likely success of upcoming movies and series. We've been so successful in this area that it's become quite the precise analytical tool for entertainment uh, prognostications. Something that struck me over this past weekend was the embargo lift on entertainment journalists and pundits for giving their thoughts on Black Widow. While the embargo still stands for official reviews, it's quite amazing that Black Widow is allowed to have opinions and impressions out there from people who have seen the film three weeks before its release. The main defense we've heard for this is that the actors and filmmakers would like to have the 4th of July time off. And so they're going ahead with their media tour earlier. Okay. 
Uh, but something uh, about that seems off, considering it's not normal. Hasn't basically every movie out there that has been released around the 4th of July also featured the press tours, interviews, reviews, etc. All coming out around the release window. I mean, it's not like the Independence Day weekend is some bizarre time to launch a movie. Rather, it's one of the most coveted slots of the entire year. That's absolutely correct. Uh, Independence Day is one of the, the uh, times that you want to hit the window because of the festivities uh, which surround it. And, and it, people uh, tend to be driven more into the cinema around that time. So yes, their excuses are a little bit odd. Also, we've, you know, we're, we're starting to come out of a 15-month lockdown with Koof, where a lot of people have had a lot of free time to spend with their families. <laughs> so with no disrespect, it's just kind of interesting that like, oh no, we, we want that time off, you know, spend it with family and friends and such. Okay. But yes, one of the most coveted slots. So let's take a look then at how much interest there's been in Black Widow. The head of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, admitted in a recent interview that they're using uh, internet interactions to figure out their likely successes. So it seems like a good enough idea to us. Now, they're going to go into Google Trends and have a look at Google Trends, which I'm going to I've set my own up, which we'll have a look in a moment. So now we've set the stage of both articles. One article saying uh, that they have tracking and that tracking says that it's on course to do well and then we have pirates and princesses saying that they do their own analyticals and their own analyticals which have proven to be pretty successful so far in their words i don't know so i can't comment uh lends itself to say that it's actually going to have a pretty poor box office haul so let's now go to the article that uh, comicbookmovie.com references. And this is it here. And this is from Box Office Pro. Now, Box Office Pro say long range box office forecast. Sounds very professional. Well, it is Box Office Pro. Marvel Studios Black Widow, June 18th. So this is three days before both of the articles. As the summer box office continues its progressive rebound in North America, fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe are counting down the days until the franchise's first theatrical release in two years arrives. Remember, this movie has been in the can for about a year and a half. <laughs> 2019. At some point in 2019, I think it was done, dusted, uh certainly in post-production ready ready to go it didn't come out uh, and then it got delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed let's just jump on a little bit so it talks about uh other films and there it says with that in mind with how things have gone and their own sources and yada 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 with that in mind Here's our long-range forecast for the 24th MCU film. So, oh wait, so this is your forecast. This is not necessarily tracking. This is your forecast based off your analytics. Okay. Black Widow opening weekend range, 65 to 95 million. Domestic total... 155 to 225 million now that's excellent in in, in a in a post covid uh recovering world uh where i think in the us the cinema numbers are down by nearly 50 percent i mean actual physical theaters to to put stuff out there uh that is excellent that really is excellent uh, particularly when you look at films like A Quiet Place, which did well, Godzilla uh, versus Kong, uh, which did well, etc. 
Now let's have a look at their rationale behind it. And I just want to screw down, scroll down to here. And it says that prediction. So the forecast is now a prediction. Tracking forecast prediction. Okay. That prediction is so far backed up by online trends. Black Widow's official Marvel Entertainment trailer page on YouTube has generated 14 million views from just the most recent spot released in early April 2021. In addition to the 29 million views of its first trailer released before lockdown on March 9th, 2020. Whoa! Whoa, horsey, horsey, horsey. So now you're referencing data from over a year ago to support the box office claim. I would say that just on a just on a a, a, a logical level would be therefore very skewed data. If you're having to, to delve that far back to produce uh, numbers, because a lot has happened between March of last year and now and a lot of interest can dissipate in something in a year it might not but i'm just saying that it easily could social media engagement overall is trending on par with the likes of previous solo marvel films like doctor strange thor ragnarok ant-man and the wasp now social media wise Social media doesn't necessarily convert into purchases. I think that's becoming more and more clear. There's, you can get a, a lot of buzz and a lot of interest on social media, but that doesn't necessarily convert it into money. Uh, every Sunday, for some reason, Batwoman trends on Twitter. Batwoman's viewership is in the toilet. Batwoman's demographic, the 18 to 49, the, the demographic that the uh, advertisers love, because that's your buying demographic, is in the toilet. So trend, from a social media perspective, doesn't translate to success or popularity when it comes to the uh, crunch. So now let's go, based off that, to Google Trends. And I've added my own little Google Trends here, as you can see. And I've got Loki, Black Widow, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and WandaVision. So I've taken the three current Marvel miniseries, which are on Disney+, Plus, and added the Black Widow movie, which is doing a cinematic release, and I also believe doing a disney plus release as well now let's have a look at the furthest first which is one division that was the first one that came out and you can see the popularity of one division it actually went up and up and up as the series progressed ironic i think it got worse and worse and worse as the series progressed but as soon as it finished plummeted interest plummeted as you would expect that's not unexpected Falcon in the Winter Soldier, which started pretty much immediately after uh, One Division. Look at the almost lack of interest in this show. Lack of interest right here. And then let's go to Loki, which is the current one. Started off very strong. As strong as the end of uh, One Division, but is now on a downward trajectory. And look at Black Widow. It's almost a flat line. This red flat line. Which has barely received a single bump. And this starts a year ago. So from their March of 2020 interest, it's all gone. There's been no interest as it hasn't come out. More trailers have come out. Very little bump in interest according to Google Trends. And then it's just, just, just slightly, now that it's coming into um, release time, 
just popping up ever so little. So which one is right? Who is right? Our uh, long-range box office, have they got it right? Have pirates and princesses got it right? They're both using different versions of analyticals to predict it. But look, I can't leave this video without giving my own prediction. And whereas they predict 65 to 90 million, I predicted 35 million. That's what I predicted. Now, the, I was the lowest prediction on Friday Night Tights. We had a, we, we discussed this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and I was, most people were saying around 50, I think, to 60. Uh, I went, no, I, I think this is going to do about 35 million. Now, I could be completely wrong here. But I have not really seen anything that would equate to a legitimate interest in Black Widow at the cinema. And so far, critically, the murmurings are that the film's not that good. Whether it is or it isn't, that's by the by. When the official embargo is released and the re official reviews come out, uh, then I bet we see a, a, a spectrum of stunning and brave, amazing, all the way down to, well, it's not, you know, not great. But there you go. Black Widow, what is it going to do? Who knows what it's going to do? It's all over the freaking place in what it was going to do. Uh, but it's going to do something <laughs> at the box office. We'll see. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming links. They're in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.